Mm. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Happy Sunday, a.k.a. Monday is when you're going to be watching this. And I uh, hope you have a great week. And thank you for sharing yesterday about all of your race weekends and what was the last 5K you raced. Uh, so it's fascinating to watch everyone's um, experiences with racing come in through the comments below. And a lot of you guys are setting PRs. And so anyway, congrats, kudos to you. And oh man, we're just uh, relaxing, enjoying this Sunday. Uh, more coming up soon about the running world. But man, it's just beautiful out here. I just had to come get a little fresh air, a little coffee. Oh man. I know there's only so many times that you can watch me soak my foot, but you know, it's connected to today's story about the plantar fasciitis. I'll give you an update here in a few minutes. Uh, so here comes the hot water. A lot of you are wondering about this hot water too. All right, thank you for the... You got it. You want to put in there? No. Oh, not yet. Time to go deliver the deliver this little guy, this little monster, to Mama at the park so I can go run. He just woke up from his nap. You're doing good. You're gonna break the internet, buddy. You're so cute. All right, getting a recovery run in after the race yesterday. Starting off in the Ultra Torrens, just gonna do a mile to stretch the Achilles out, stretch out just a teeny tiny bit. I'll give you, of course, a big update on the foot and the plantar fasciitis and what happened yesterday in the race. And then I'm gonna switch over. I'm just gonna do a mile in the Torrens and then I'm gonna switch over to the Beacons for about eh, two to three more miles, we'll see. And yeah, so that's just a recovery day, and then we'll talk about recovering here in a little bit. Joseph's waving hello. All right. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing when I lose my uh, sunglasses on top of uh, my head. There they are. Don't you have you ever done that before, YouTube? Looking for your sunglasses for five, ten minutes, and yeah, they're on top of your head. Okay, here we go. Let's roll. Ultra Torrens right now. Mile and a half, just did a mile and a half in the Torrens. Feeling good, feeling decent. Okay, good is too strong of a word, decent. All right, now I'm gonna switch to the Beacons. Probably do two to three miles in the Beacons, we'll see. And uh, just trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what's going on down there. All right, switching over to the Beacons.
There's precious Michael watching. Okay, guys. Wow. I started off at 8, no, sorry, at 9.30 pace in the Torrens. 9.30 pace. I put the beacons on and just did four more miles. Did a little more than I was expecting, but it's because I feel pretty good. Pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Essentially, I was running 8.10 to 8.40 a mile in the beacons. Like Immediately, I put them on and they felt like I could go a little faster. That was interesting. Now, it could have just been that my legs were warmed up after running in the Torrens. Anyway, just an observation for you guys. All right, the first tip of the day for recovery days after a race. Make sure, this is like very basic, but make sure you go out and run. Don't just rest, meaning sit around and put your feet up. Now that's important too, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but you gotta get out and get the blood flowing, get the legs moving, and don't go fast. You don't need to go too fast, but you gotta get the legs moving so that you can come back to your house and stretch. And remember, DOMS, D-O-M-S, that stands for Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. So even though you're not sore today, there's a good chance you're gonna be sore two days after a really hard race. So I'm expecting my legs to be sore tomorrow Monday when you're watching this. Therefore, the run the day after the race is really important to help alleviate a little bit of that DOMS delayed onset muscle soreness. All right, let's see in the shed. Water, water, key for recovery, guys. Key for recovery. Mm hmm. All right, ran today in the Beacons and the Torrens. Before we dive into the ideas for recovering from a hard race, I want to talk first about the foot, the plantar fasciitis. Uh, I ran today. I ran, actually went a little further than I expected, went six miles. In the beacons, my foot basically didn't hurt. There was definitely no sharp pain, so that's a bonus. I could, I could basically feel, it felt kind of like if somebody was pressing their thumbs into the bottom of your arch. Just like, ge not too hard, just gentle. So something definitely happened yesterday in the 5K when I was sprinting for the finish. Something happened. What is it? What it is, I don't know yet. And again, let's wait till tomorrow morning to see if it's improving and trending in the right direction. So that's all I'm going to say about the plantar fasciitis. Bottom line, it, I could run on it today with almost pain-free. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Let's dive into some ideas for recovering from a hard race. And these are not like earth shattering ideas, just your basic recovery ideas. However, I bet, I bet down in the comments, you're going to learn something more than what you're going to listen to right now. All right. My first one, put your legs up like I did today. Put your legs up in the recliner, read a book, watch a movie. I believe it's important to not only go run, which I already did, got the legs loose, but also just to relax and now it's a little too late for the lactic acid to essentially like drain out of your legs but i just think like uh, 45 minutes to an hour like I, i'm we're so active as runners how often are you at your house and you're just like sitting there for an hour but if you can i believe it helps just take the edge off especially if you're sore and tired all right that's tip number one number two Epsom salt baths. So I'm a big fan of Epsom salt. I've been doing it for years now and essentially it's it helps your muscles relax and I don't know all the science behind it but I just you can either do like soak your leg in a bucket like I've been doing a lot for my plantar fasciitis or you can do a full-on bathtub and I, I love doing both and so that's my second idea get an Epsom get a bag of Epsom salt dump it into the tub and then just go relax once again it helps loosen your legs up and like for a 5k you know it's hard to get really really sore after a 5k but you know i'd say anything over a 10 miler definitely if you're if you're pounding hard you're going to be sore you're going to be tired the next day epsom salt look it up check it out i think you'll enjoy it number three goes without saying but i will say it anyway extra stretching if you i'm going to go back inside here in a minute and do my night routine of of stretching just try to do a little extra stretching the day after a race. It cannot hurt. It cannot hurt. You're, you're, especially for me, my struggle is hamstrings. So, oh, my hamstrings are so tight, and I really got to focus on those moving forward after race days. Number four, who doesn't love more sleep? Who does not love more sleep? So in college, my coach in college, Mark Wetmore, who, by the way, they just won the national championship, the women's team. Congratulations, ladies. Okay, Mark Wetmore often talked about if you're running 80 miles a week, you need to be sleeping at least eight hours a night. 90 miles a week, nine hours of sleep at night. 10, 100 miles a week, don't go do that, but 10 hours of sleep at night. So 
I, I fully believe like the more sleep you can get, the more your body is going to regenerate. And as you may or may not know, like hard workouts break down our muscles. And so they need to be built back up. And when they're built back up, they come back stronger. And so that HGH, the natural hormone that our body creates, I think it's the... Oh man, the pituitary gland that creates this HGH, I'm not saying it right. But uh, anyway, so more sleep is good for recovery. Don't be as afraid to hit that snooze button. Hit that snooze button. And the fifth and final tip is very, okay, <laughs> I struggle. I, I love coffee. I love wine. I love coffee. I love wine. I, I, love, I like beer as well, but I've, I've actually given up beer for 2018. But I love, I love coffee. I love wine. On the weekends, I like to drink coffee. And yes, our, you know, in the afternoon, around four or five o'clock before dinner, I like to have a glass of wine. That's just that's what I like to do. And so sometimes I struggle with getting enough water in me. Well, today, I, I mean, it's it's really, it's not serious, but like, I gotta drink more. I gotta drink more H2O. Water is so critical for our recovery from hard races. Don't be afraid to bump up your water intake just a little bit. And so to connect the water to the sleep, essentially while you're sleeping, your kidney is helping like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a scientist, but it's basically helping process your the electrolytes in your body so that you can absorb these nutrients and these electro electrolytes back into your system. And without enough water, your kidney can't do that properly. And again, I'm not the scientist, but a, just a little extra water goes a long way from my experience in helping bounce right back from a race. And there you go. Those are my five simple tips. Put your feet up, Epsom salt bath, extra stretching, extra sleep, and a little extra water. Goes a long way for helping me personally recover from a hard race. And you know, again, 5Ks are hard, but I'm also talking about those half marathons, marathons, and beyond. And of course, the keyword of the day is recovery. I know you've been waiting for it. It's recovery. And the question of the day, what is your top tip? One tip. If you have more, great. But what is one thing that you do? Try to be as specific as possible for helping you recover from a hard race, all right? This is all about the comments down below. My ideas are pretty simple and straightforward. I'm excited to learn some new ideas from you guys. So comment below, I'd appreciate it. And it appears that a lot of you were racing this past weekend because you were tagging me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, letting me know about your results. And please keep that coming. Like I wanna know how you guys are racing, what distance you're racing. And I think a couple of you PR'd in the 10K and maybe a half marathon so congratulations, but I want to know how you're you're recovering right now. Okay, tomorrow's vlog. Just so you know, I'm gonna reveal the uh, the winner of the running shoe. That you remember, you guys voted on which shoe you'd like me to purchase next. Well, I'm gonna let you know in tomorrow's vlog. Come back tomorrow for that. And guys, we are wrapping it up. I gotta go edit this video and go sleep so I can recover. All right, all right. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.